Hi, this is Cyprin from uh, fe for all and in today's video I'll show you how to install Code Aster uh, 2017 on Windows. So since the last video I did about uh, installing Salome Maker 2017 uh, using VirtualBox on Linux, uh, there was no other solution at, at that time. But I saw that since a lot of people are interested to, to install it and a company decided to make a custom installation of Salome Maker just for Windows. So that's uh, I don't know how they did that, but that's amazing, I think. Uh, and you can just go on their website, codeasterwindows.com, with uh, dashes in between. Uh, go to the download page, and then you have uh, several packages available. So um, I just clicked on the first one, which uh, include the pre and post and the solver, uh, and I'm downloading downloading it right now. So let's wait that the download is finished and let's install it to see uh, if it works exactly the same than uh, the one in Linux and we'll see together how uh, to uh, install that. Okay, now that the download is over, let's try to install it. So let's click on that and extract it. to my desktop. Okay, so here is the folder, so I just unzipped it and let's see what we have inside. So we have uh, we have some folders with all the modules of uh, Salome Mecca and we have okay, the license uh, Let's read the README text. It's probably written how to install it. So, okay, this product intends to provide a Salome Maker version for Windows users. Yes, thank you very much for that. Um, okay, it has been enhanced. Some modification have been made to the Python product. Okay. <laughs> uh, with the addition of the NumPy and Matplotlib modules, so basically they added uh, some modules so it can work on Windows. Okay, let's see the installation. Um, mm -mm -mm. You may need to install Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 SP1 uh, redistributable package for Salome. Okay, so those are potential issues that I may run into. Uh, if you don't have those packages installed on your uh, computer, you may have problems. So we'll see that when I will try to run it. Uh, now to run that, how do I do that? Execute work run salome.bat command to launch salome session. And to kill salome session, execute work kill salome.bat command. So basically, I have to uh, go into the command line and go into the work folder and execute this run salome.bat um, executable file. Okay, well, let's try. Okay, now let's try if it works, and I hope it does. So let's open the terminal. So I'm using a uh, commander, but you can use a uh, uh, the normal Windows terminal, it's the same thing. Uh, just that this one has a few options like copy pasting and things like that. So I'm here in uh, users, uh, okay, I'm in this, so let's see. So my desktop, so the fo folder is in the desktop, so let's cd in the desktop. And now I have to enter this folder uh, called work. So cd uh, sm-2017-w64 0 Okay, and then cd into the work directory. Uh, and then I just have to uh, run this file. So what was the name? Run Salome dot bat. So run Salome dot bat. Okay, and now it should be working. 
So let's wait. Oh, it's opening. Nice. Okay. Okay, it works. So if it's the first time you open it, you may have to allow some of the module to be used by Windows. So you'll have some uh, small alert window telling you that you should allow those modules. Uh, but basically it seems to be working, so that's that's nice. Uh, so let's let's just try uh, Salome Geometry. Okay, I'm activating Geometry module, new. Okay, I have the interface now on Windows and I can start to work with uh, Salome and as Code Aster. So, wonderful! So I hope this video was uh, useful for you if you try to install the Windows version. Uh, it's actually not uh, really difficult to install. It's even, I can say, much uh, easier than the Linux version if you, if you don't know well uh, Linux. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and see you for the next video. I'll try to do more tutorials uh, after that.